Hello everybody, this is the Catbase Games again, and welcome back to CrossFit 101 Guides. Today we're going to look at how to build a uh, rig using the pickup style cabins at our power score from 2000 to 3000. So the first half, the pickup cabins, I uh, choose the Gorilla, Huntsman, Bear and Fury. For those are the pickup style cabins. The Fury and the Bear cabins are only obtainable by getting their respective cabin uh, packs, which are the Midcar pack and the Tramp pack, or get it via get them via the market. Anyway, the first thing I see people often do is getting a rig like this to get basically get a support structure and place the cabin right here and place wheels like this. This is mistake number one on later builds because right this results a really little bit to where you can cabin, uh, you can armor the cabin. However, how I would do this is use six by fours, or uh, or if you do not have those, you can use this system. Be sure to interconnect them like this, like chess pieces, kind of like checkers, kind of. But I'll, for reference, I will use the six by fours. Then put the cabin right here. One behind the back, two for the front. After this you can get your medium steering wheels and pick them like this. And get some fenders up like this. Already have some basic armor, uh, side armor. You got six wheels, which is more than the most sta uh, uh, than a build at at the barrel, uh, cabin at the front would could have. Those would have four, maybe six, having extra extra long chassis. But right uh, with this system, you can simply put some armor in the back, like so, and get the fender windows and put those at the front. Lastly, a our block on the side here to cover the side of the cabin and here you got a 1000 power score base rig on which you can build your next your entire vehicle for example our uh, example arn armaments can be a hoop of shorts I will stack them like this so that you can fire sideways You cannot fire downwards like this, you're gonna have two then, but you have a really good fire arc like this. The damage is okay, you can strip parts pretty quickly, especially if you focus fire like this. You can strip some guns really quickly, and this is only 1982 power score. This is a pretty effective build. Also, if you want to uh, install modules on this, I suggest removing these parts entirely and placing two wide frames like this. Now you got this middle section underneath where you can, for example, put down and few barrel. So, if you only have a small module like that, you can put cut off the frame at the front. So, guys that are shooting from the front us have a lower chance shooting it. But this also fits stuff like a gas generator. So this thing, uh, this thing can take some pretty large modules underneath, without having to actually have a specific place in the rear or whatever to place them. For normal, uh, like non-explosive modules I like a cooler I would suggest placing it first of all right here in the mirror without remove gun for that so like this good armaments for these are machine guns shotguns I can place two shotguns like this you have some you have some pretty sufficient uh, firepower and a quick rate pretty quick rate of fire as well Finally, for the higher power score, I suggest 
Uh, you can, for example, take two cocktails on this thing. They're gonna some kind of auto grinding build. This thing is lasted 3,000 power score, and you do not even have to sh you don't have to shoot anymore. You can just drive up to somebody and let the cocktails do the work. These things have a similar damage output to heavy machine guns, or factors so somewhere in between those two. But you can fire you can have to fire automatically, so you can just drive around, do nothing. Because these things don't overheat. Oh, for example, Spectres will overheat, of course. Spectres are pretty powerful as well. Anyway, if you can add a little bit more armor in the front, if you want. Add some frames like right here. And a extra armor section using these medium struts. Right here. That's about all the extra armor you would ever need. You, even though you can still put something like a rear door at the top to prevent them to shoot the front part of the cabin and the top part of the cabin from like this angle. But you don't really need that, so. It will mean a rear door is 96 power score, so it, it's pretty expensive. Anyways, for you can uh, if you want to upgrade this into more end game style, you don't really need any more armor, or you just mount the cabin like this. Now you have ten energy, and then you can mount your weaponries. For example, be an artillery rig using two crickets from, from medium range. This thing's speed is high enough to be able to flank effectively. The armor is sufficient to take a few hits. You don't really need more armor than this. Only in your real endgame builds. And the firepower is, as, as of now, is the king. So, note to the developers, if you guys are watching this, please make the power score of armor cheaper. Because right now, having a... Uh, high power score rig using like arm you mean ar just armor it does not win a this thing is at just under 4000 power score for this you could also get a 1500 health unit that is armed with 3 or 4 shorts and those shorts will definitely lose from this thing because this thing has so much more firepower that, and the other one has so little firepower, it will simply just do not enough damage. Well, I can show you how it looks painted. Like this. Also, the use of different cabins. For example, pair cabin. Looks actually pretty good. Although, if you want to go for a common cabin, I. You can use either a gorilla cabin, huntsman cabin, or the fury cabin. The bear cabin doesn't isn't really useful because even though it has slightly more health than the fury, five, but it's o it's only five points. It's much heavier than the fury, and the fury is faster than the bear. And the, although the bear do, uh, is more powerful, and in my opinion looks better, again this is just my opinion. The bear cabin, I mean you. you do not get better or don't really get better acceleration. And the top speed will be slower for the exact same power score. So I would stick to a Fury Cabin or just a Huntsman on this thing. See? Acceleration pretty much the same. This thing will have a slight it's just slightly more top speed, like five kilometers an hour top speed extra. Which can help in the long run, especially if you have to run away from um, someone that is using a bear cabin, because you can outrun them then. This build, I would say, is a medium weight uh, build, which focuses on just main combat. I do not suggest arming it with something long range like cannons, but uh, I mainly suggest using it as a machine gun or ca uh, shotgun rig. I use those. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please comment do down below what you think about this build. And I will see you guys all later. This was the Capus Games. 
and I am out.